CrossFit is a cult. Prove me wrong. A few years back, they started getting involved in a self-defense slash martial arts community and teaching horrible things to the general public. Pisses me off. Let's get into it. This starts off, be your own bodyguard, kinetic chain. Whenever someone uses the word kinetic, I disregard you immediately. From the tattoos to the haircut, I already despise this guy. Look at the fool in the background with the fucking helmet on. The other guy has full on padding on his whole arm. His whole arm is padded. And look at the clientele. The NPCs on the left, killing me. They don't belong doing this. Go to a proper martial arts gym. Good. <laughs> Good. No technical advice on how you can improve on that. Good. I'll tell you what. Crossfitters. See how we use the word crossfitters? Now, we use the word strangle gang because listen, I can't see you guys. So that's how we build our camaraderie. We need some sort of unified symbol. These guys are face to face talking like this? I would never say this in my class. Crossfit is a cult, like I said in the intro. And let me tell you something, we don't support cults on this channel. Rup, 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 rup. I'm not a martial arts athlete. You're not a martial arts athlete and that's why you shouldn't be teaching this garbage. And you do any other workout that week that has even one wall ball, you have now thrown more power punches than some pro boxers throw in fights. All right, so he should be taken out back and beaten with bats. So now why do I get that extreme? I'll tell you why. I may throw 500 right crosses, okay? You did 5,000 wall balls. What's more important, the 500 right crosses or the 5,000 wall balls? Obviously, it's the 500 punches. So now we've got palm strikes in there. Well, what about some of the other tools? What about the elbows? Okay, does this look familiar? <laughs> I hate this guy so much. Oh yeah, I know what you're doing. That, that looks like an elbow, although his feet are squared and his chin is up in the air. All of the technical aspects of this movement are completely out the back door. He's not taking into account the actual technique involved. See, this is the thing about CrossFit. There's more injuries in this stupid sport than anything else. And I'll quote the great Kenny Powers. We're not trying to be the best at exercise. I play real sports. Not trying to be the best at exercising. Stupid rumor. Vertical elbows in a fight, okay? Look at the long arms. Look, th look at the low stance and the extended lead arm. <sighs> the most dangerous thing about CrossFit is driving to the box. No, oh, <laughs> that's, a, that's what us CrossFitters say. And they call the facility that they train in the box, right? Which is ridiculous and corny. But then what's also funny about it is the little phrase that they use, driving there is more dangerous than getting there. That's a lie. That's a lot, because I've done CrossFit. I've, I've done it for quite a while. When it was just getting popular, I was injured a ton of times doing that stuff. You know, they kip and pull ups and all this stuff. It's it's okay, but it has a high injury rate. No doubt about that. Uh, CrossFit is driving to the box. And when you drive to the box, when we drive every day, what do we do? We put on our seatbelt, right? Now these are cartoonish, but guys, I'm trying to show you the movements that you already do so that you can, you can see that you already- So what bothers me about this mainly, he's too confident. He's too confident to be speaking on something that's near and dear to my heart. He doesn't know the arts. He, he admitted that. I'm not a martial arts athlete. But he's speaking as if he's the guy. Put your fucking head down and go join a gym and put a white belt on. Okay, you guys have already done the spear flow drill, so I'm gonna pause these guys at the right moment. Spear flow, go ahead. Spear flow, stupid phrases. Breathe, knees to elbows, go. <laughs> oh my God. All right, we brought in another jabroni, Tony Blair. Don't know who he is. I'm gonna call him a jabroni because of the facilities. And if you spend any time in CrossFit, you're a jabroni. Because I've done CrossFit. I've, I've done it for quite a while. You're a jabroni. If you can do a lunge, you can do that, right? See, these, these idiots have it backwards. What you're supposed to do is train martial arts for the passion and the love of the arts, and then use fitness as a way to elevate your athletic potential, hence increasing and improving your overall performance as a martial artist. These guys are doing it backwards. They're saying, do high jumps, do the burpees, whatever you gotta do, and then add on these little insignificant techniques that take a lifetime to develop. They have it completely backwards, and really they should be ashamed of themselves. Look at the guy on the right. I've known many a men like him with the beard and the backwards hat. You know, he's a crossfitter. Can't break an egg, this guy. Get a real guy in there. Well, I got to keep your arms on me. Have, at this point here, could I gouge his eyes? Yes. Yeah, right? I could gouge his eyes. Could I pull that hand yes. off and go, wham, nail him with a palm strike? Could I do Karen? 
Karen is, I guess, some code word for workouts that they do. Can I do Karen? Can I do 400 burpees from here right now while palm striking them? If you guys are enjoying the video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Also, check me out on Instagram, at Steven Strangles People. Let's get back into it. So, what are you going to ask me for? Give me your wallet. Did it even fire yet? Didn't nope. even f uh -huh. fire yet. I had no idea until right now that this guy existed. <laughs> We're doing more videos on this guy without a doubt. This is Dale Brown level. And bring me to that office then. You want to take me to that office, baby? CrossFit stuff. Oh, okay. don't you dare shot talk to me like here. that. <laughs> Give me okay, a gun, boy. I grab a pistol it's, and a shot goes off. It's not cycling. It's not cycling. You, you got a double cut, feed. But, you know, yeah. and you won't get Gun cut. talk. I mean, if you've got a good grip on it, you know, we've tested this. Have guys, people freak that out. You don't have to go to a range and do this. But if you grab that gun and a shot goes off, you just jam the gun. It's now inoperable. Look at the guy on the right. Completely convinced that everything Tony's saying is absolute fact. Does Tony know his stuff? Again, not familiar with him. I'm busting his chops with the whole CrossFit thing. Maybe he knows more than what we're all keen on. I gotta do more research on him. Who's his target audience? That's my question. Who is actually taking this in and going, you know, this is where it's at? What kind of people? Are they older people? Are they younger people? Are they trained properly? Are they law enforcement security? Or are they everyday people? If they're everyday people, this is definitely scary and dangerous advice. But that doesn't even matter. Let's break this down here from biomechanics. The weakest muscles in this <laughs> biomechanics is a here, great phrase to use, guys. man. Biomechanics, it immediately gives you credibility over anyone in the room. Use it, try it wherever you are. Wherever you are, you're getting breakfast, you're getting lunch, just throw it out there in the middle of conversation. Biomechanics, people are gonna go, oh my god, he must be legit at whatever he does. And he's loose. Now, I need to be doing this, drive it in, I need to be going boom, you know, there's that <laughs> sound effects, man. Teach a move, add in a generic sound effect to it, like. Credibility through the roof. The mountain climber to his nuts, right? Oh, and he made a CrossFit analogy. I was waiting for it. Oh, I hate it. Mountain climber to his nuts. He said it again. Mountain climber to his nuts. He said it again. Front rack. He called it a front rack. It's a fucking elbow, you son of a bitch. Right? Gouge his eyes. I don't want to bite his hand. Bite his hand. Great advice. Reach for the seatbelt. You just gotta start. Reach for the seatbelt. Guys, don't do these fly by night courses that teach you how to, you know, bite fingers and stuff like that. This is novelty, right? Parlor tricks. Silly. I don't think it's as bad as the Rup 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 guy. I mean, the Rup 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 guy had me singing at the beginning of the video. A lot of you guys were complimentary of that, by the way. But what you don't realize is that I do actually sing a little bit. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications, obviously hit the like, leave a comment, make friends in the comment section. This is a community of like-minded people. I appreciate the CrossFitters. I appreciate the Strangle Gang. Stay strong and I'll see you in the next one.